What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with a Toxic Croak and Kyogre rain team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Toxic Croak, I haven't used this Pokemon in a minute, but I love its design and I love its typing of poison and fighting. It follows the rain team suit with its dry skin ability and it's rocking the assault vest as item. On top of that, it has one of the best moves for competitive doubles, fake out, helping our Pokemon set up and get after the match. It also has close combat, gunk shot for two heavy hitting stab moves, and last but not least, it's got Sucker Punch for first turn priority. I actually really like this moveset, and I think we're going to be using Toxic Brook a lot on today's team. Right next to him is going to be our restricted Pokemon, Kyogre, but not just any Kyogre, Choice Scarf Kyogre, with Drizzle, and obviously that Dragon Terror type. It's got Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Water Spout, amazing move set, amazing item. This thing is going to be outspeeding most Pokemon, so going to be a big part of today's squad. Obviously, we got Incineroar and Rillaboom in the middle there. We're not even going to talk about them. Two great Pokemon that are good on any team. And our last two Pokemon are going to be support. We got Tornadus and Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl can set the screens, all that good stuff. Tornadus can have that speed control and weather control with Rain Dance. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Toxic Croak team. So guys, it's a brand new season, which means we're in Great Ball tier. We got to work our way back up to Master Ball tier, and we're going up against Hat Pikachu. I actually just used him recently, and Hat Pikachu is awesome. Good little fake out user can get the team rocking, but they also have Shadow Rider Calyx. They have Tornadus, Urshifu, Ditto, who I love, and uh, Wellspring Ogre Pond, who they're probably bringing, right? We're not going to sugarcoat it. They're probably bringing Wellspring Ogre Pond. I like Toxic Croaks here. I like my Kyogre with the Choice Scarf. I like Tornadus. I think they're all great options. I'm going to lead my Tornadus. I'm also just going to lead Kyogre. Let's just lead Kyogre. We got a lot of speed going. We got a ton of speed going. And you don't know where Choice Scarf is. I can always choice to a different move. But I like this. I like going into both of these guys. So I'm going to go Kyogre. I'm going to go Tornadus. I'm going to make Toxic Croak in the back end. And last but not least, we could go a little bit more in Silver. I mean, they're both really good options. And kind of looking at this, hmm, who would I rather go into? Because they're both good. They're both solid here. They're both solid. You got U-Turn, you got Wood Hammer. U-Turn's going to be good up against that Ogre Pond. Grass Guy's going to be good. Yeah, you know we're going to go into you. Because if that Earth Foods Water, Earth Foods Well. Roll Boom's just going to be great. For having first turn priority Grass Guy, just sending it, always good. Plus it has Fake Out just like Incineroar. But Incineroar would have been good up against uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. It's just solid, especially with Dirt Chop and its typing. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see. But with the rain squad, I didn't want to bring in Cinema, right? Just neutralizing his portable damage. But they end up going Pikachu and Calyrex. So Pikachu and Calyrex come out here, which is eh, a little tough. It's definitely a little tough because Pikachu could just fake me out. Let's be honest here. Pikachu could just fake me out. I am going to go for a choice into Origin Pulse. I'm going to trust my RNG is working today. And instead of Tailwind, we're just going to go Bleak Wind Storm because, again, they have Fake Out. And I think my Pokemon are good enough to soak up whatever he has to offer. So I'm going to go Origin Pulse and Liquid Storm. Yep, there's Fake Out. So Fake Out flies here. Kyogre flinches. It doesn't move. And he's going to send an Astro Blast, which Kyogre should soak. Do not do me dirty here, Kyogre. Both of you guys should soak. All right, Tornadus, you're actually scaring me with that one. You are life orb. That did a ridiculous amount of damage. Liquid Storm going to fly here. Does some nice, beautiful damage into Pikachu. And now I'm going to set up the Tailwind. I'm going to start sending Orange Pulses. I get the speed drops, Tailwind out and about. Let's drop an Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse for double KO. For the double KO. You see, I knew my Pokemon would soak. And it actually worked perfect because I needed them both to soak. Right, Pikachu, you're not rocking any first turn priority, are you? I don't think so. I do not think so. Let's see what Pikachu's trying to do here. But Tailwind's out and my Origin Pulse aren't she's missing. Who hit hit Shadow Rider? Hit Shadow Rider. No, we did <laughs> Shadow Rider. We KO the Pikachu, though. He's going to Astro Barrage pick up a double KO. That's tough news. Don't RNG do me. RNG do me. Dirty, man. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. You should be dead. Dude, we should be sitting in such a good position. That's why I don't like Origin Pulse or Prince of Blades, dude. It's such a strong move, but the accuracy just seems to screw me over more than it helps me. It really does, because now this thing's sitting plus two. We gotta hope they don't go into a Tailwind user, but honestly, Grassy Guy could just KO. So actually, not a bad spot we're sitting. Not a bad spot, because I could fake out whoever they want to throw out here. And I could just Grassy Glide that. And I mean, if they don't throw out a Tailwind user, we're not gonna Grassy Guy. We're just gonna make sure that this thing dies out. Let's see who they're gonna throw out here. Come on, boy, Toxic Croak here. Kinda hoping they have Urshifu, right? Urshi, Urshi. 
going to be Ogre Pond. All right, so Ogre Pond, a little bit on the tougher side. I do have Gunk Shot, which is gorgeous for us. Um, Dry Skin's good. I like our typing here. And you don't have Tailwind, but your speed is actually really fast. Let me check your guys' speed. I don't know if any of you guys are outspeeding him. I'm going to Grass God. I'm going to say Grass God should be able to pick up the KO. So, you know what? I'm just going to go for Grass God here. And do I go for Gunk Shot or do I just fake out the Ogre Pond here? I'm gonna fake out you because you could you could go for follow me, which is actually looking scary. Yeah, that's a, such a smart play. That's such a smart play. He's gonna go for mm, he's gonna go for follow me next turn. He's going for follow me next turn. Oh man. How are we gonna play this one? How are we gonna play this one? This hurts, man. We play this one actually really good. We're just gonna lose this because because uh, Origin Pulse isn't isn't landing the Calyrex. Yeah, you go for follow me here. This is it's game. Game. Is there any way I can get around this? Is there any way I can get around this? Fire Terra. What's your Terra? Ground Terra. Mm. What's our best choice here? What, 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 what should we do? We gotta go for Grass Guide here, and we just gotta go for Gunk Shot. Sucker Punch won't come out before Follow Me, which is tough news. We're just gonna say our typing. Don't go for Follow Me. They definitely go for Follow Me. Yeah. Come on, man! Hate losing RNG. Hate it. I probably should have went for Wood Hammer. I probably should have went for Wood Hammer. To be honest with you, because yeah, I should have went for Wood Hammer. I should have thought that one a bit more through. Because say I go for Wood Hammer there, Tox Crook outspeeds and Gunk Shot probably KOs, and then we could KO. That thing with Woodhammer if we outspeed with Tailwind. So that probably should have been the better play, but let's be honest. Shadow Rider Calyx should have been dead regardless. We played that one so well, just lose it. Tough news. Definitely tough news. But hey, 0 1. Let's go hop to our second match. Look for our first victory. So, guys, RNG doing us dirty again. Do I even use Origin Pulse ever again? I don't know. We probably will. Let's try it out. But we're going up against an Electivire team here in match number two with Karidon, Fluttermane, Rollaboom, Incineroar, and Tornadus in its Therene form or in its other form. This might be its incarnate form, but it looks so sick. It does look so sick. But one thing that screams out to me when going up against this team is their weather control. They're going to be rocking out with Karidon. They're going to also have, um, well, Karidon set the sun. And honestly, uh, Tornadus could maybe have a sunny day, but I like going Kyogre, and I like going Tornadus here. One, speed control is going to be good. And two, I can just pop Rain Dance if they want to go in like Ride on and set the sun. I'm going to bring Tosh Crook in the back end. And last but not least, do I go Rillaboom or do I go Incineroar? I think Incineroar is going to be a little bit better here. I'm going to go Incineroar. So I like this lead here. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look at grab ourselves our first win. Consider we lost that last match. We're sitting 0-1. 0-1. So what I think they're going to do here is either lead Karidon or bring it in the back end, right? Karidon's definitely going to be here. But either way, I think we have to just spam Rain Dance the first turn and just predict them going into Karidon, right? If they swap into Karidon, we set Rain Dance, we kind of just buy ourselves a big time turn and then get off a big time water spout. It's going to be nice. It's going to be good for us. So let's see who they're going to lead. I'm kind of curious to see. They're probably going to lead a fake out user, whether it be Incineroar or Real Boom. And it might just be Real Boom. And if it is Real Boom, we'll just Terrasalize our Kyogre. Go into a nice little Dragon Terror type just to, you know, neutralize some of that grass damage. Make it not very effective. And go from there. Yeah, but we got to win this one. We got to we gotta make up for that RNG loss in the, in the match number one. So let's see who they end up leading. Is it going to be Karadon? It's going to be Fluttermane and Karadon, which is fine. That's totally fine by me. I, I don't mind that at all. Do I win the Weather War? That'd be nice if I just win the Weather War. I doubt it yet because I'm Choice Scarf. But I'm just going to go for, obviously, a Rain Dance here. I'm just going to go for Rain Dance, and since I am choiced, I am going to be able to outspeed. I'm just going to throw a uh, a Water Spout. Or do I go Origin Pulse? No, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with Origin Pulse. We're going right into Water Spout. So I'll go Water Spout. I will set the Rain Dance. I am going to outspeed regardless. Then I get off Tailwind next turn. That's fine by me. That's why I love this lead so much. It's like, dude, I set the Rain with Kyogre, and if I need more Rain support, I have Tornadus with Prankster. I can just set it right away, which I love. I love it. So let's see what they end up doing here, because I'm kind of scared to see what they're going to do. I'm hoping Fluttermane is not Focus Ash, because then I can just, you know, hit it with Water Spout and kind of put it out of its misery. But if it is Sash, that'll be a little bit tougher for us. 
Let's see, they might even end up swapping Coridon, which I would actually like. I would actually want them to swap Coridon. And they are. Okay, cool. So another Pokemon is going to take big time damage this water spell. And it is going to be this Tornadus. Cool. So Rain Dance going to fly here. Tornadus might die out here. I love how that Tornadus looks. It looks so much cooler than mine. Fluttermane's Protosynthesis is going to wear off. And Water Spout is cooking. It's cooking. Fluttermane Sash. Of course he's Sash. Of course you're Sash. And what are you going to go into here? You're going to go for an Icy Wind. So you're going to slow me down a little bit. I mean, I can set up a Tailwind here, which is going to be good news for us. And we're just going to throw another Water Spout. You give me no reason not to. Tailwind Water Spout. Do it. Do it now. You could swap back into what's it called? You could swap back into Coridon, but if you do, your Flutter Main still dies here. Your Tornadus might be able to survive it. But then next turn, I just drop another Rain Dance, which is just... It's just huge. Or not. Yeah. Yeah, another Rain Dance. I still have Toxic Rook in the back end. So if I could just pick up this double kill and force the rain for the rest of the match, we'll be sitting really good. We will be sitting really good. Hmm. Because I still have Tosh Croak. I still have Incineroar, which is pretty good. Fake outs. Tosh Croak's got close combat. Gonna end up withdrawing the, the uh, Tornadus, which again, is totally fine by me. So I know you slowed me down a little bit, but you're gonna go back into Crydon. Your Flutter Mane's already low enough HP. This Tailwind's gonna help us out speed it. Photosynthesis can come out here, but special attacking. Actually, it is speed. Actually, let's see. Let's see how this one turns out here. Will my Tailwind minus one choice Scarf Kyogre outspeed this Protosynthesis boost Flutter Mane? I would think so, right? Yeah, okay, cool. The Water Spout flies. It does negative six damage to Coridon, and we are just dominating this weather. Because You know what I'm going to do next turn? I'm going to set rain again. Don't make me do it again. That's where this, this, uh, this person's kind of failing. At, right? They keep swapping out and they're giving me free turns by swapping out. So when you swap out, you're not attacking. And I can just set Rain Dance again. But guess what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to go Water Spout and I'm going to go Rain Dance. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. You give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to. We're just spamming this. We are just spamming this at this point. If it ends up protecting Coridon. That's fine. You're going to leave Coridon on the field. That means I have full weather control now. Give it to me. Give me all the weather control. There's that. My HP isn't that low either, so Water Spout still doing a great chunk of damage here. Might even KO you. Electivire, let's see. Yep, Electivire, gone. Gone, and now you can't change weather. Now you just simply can't change weather. Now you just can't change weather. I think they cancel match. I would cancel match. Let's see. Yeah, I, I cancel match because this is just game set match. This is a game set match. We'll go for our fourth water spout and we'll just throw a bleakman storm. They probably just cancel the match. Yep, there it is. One and one. We dominate with Kyogre and Tornadus. Just spamming water spouts. Moving on to our final match, and we're going up against a team with no restricted Pokemon. They do got Malmart, they do got Metagross, they got Volcarona, Iron Boulder, Grimmsnarl, and Wimscott. I want to get out Toxicroak here. I want to use it a little bit more, and I kind of like Toxicroak for Elite. This and Kyogre could be really good. As long as they do not have Sunny Day on Wimscott, we should be fine. So I'm going to go Toxicroak. I'm going to go Kyogre here. I like it. I could bring Screen's Grimmsnarl in the back end. That could be nice, but I definitely want Incineroar here. Incineroar with Throat Trap, Intimidate. They work good. They definitely work good. And our last Pokemon. Do I just bring Rollaboom? Is that U-turn? It's got Grassy Glide. That's not bad. I mean, I could just bring Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is pretty good, especially with Foul Play. Hmm. What's my play? What's my play here? We just go back into an honest. Now we're gonna go Rollaboom. We're gonna Rollaboom instant war. Have that. We have three fake out users. This is gonna be us all game. All game, just fake out collapse. Just fake out collapse. We have three users. Fake out, fake out, fake out. We're gonna swap them out. Fake out, fake out, fake out. Swap them out again. Fake out, fake out, fake out. <laughs> just constant stream of fake out. But yeah, we dominated that last match with Kyogre Tornado. It's pretty simple. They kind of just gave it to us, right? Just swapping in and out. I was just like, I'm just gonna keep sending it. You're giving us a free win here. You're just giving us a free win. But I mean, they could have fake out with Grimstar. They could have Light Screen. Um. I'm gonna fake out the Wimscott, and I'm just gonna go into a Water Spout here. It could be Covert Cloak. You could definitely be Covert Cloak, but I'm still gonna just send a Water Spout here. This fake out's gonna fly here. Hopefully, no Covert Cloak. And it is gonna flinch, which is awesome. Can Water Spout just pick up a KO onto Wimscott? You're gonna Thunder Wave me, and I have an odd feeling that my RNG has been terrible today. 
I'm gonna be paralyzed this turn. I have an odd feeling about it. Okay, cool. Thank you, RNG. Thank you for letting me play. Bye bye. Bye bye, yo. This seems nice. This seems with it. Loving it. Loving it. Stocks Crook with the fake out. We got Dry Skin. So we get a constant heal up HP in the rain here. Which is awesome. And Kyogre's just Choice Scarf. He might just win this match right here, right now. This might be a two turn battle. This might be a quick video, guys. This might be a quick video. Honestly, I might swap Kyogre. Yeah, this might be too easy for me. I might just swap Kyogre. I could probably win it right here. Oh my god. Yeah, we can win this in two turns. We can win this in two turns. But do I really want to win this in two turns? Not really. I'm going to swap my Kyogre. We can win it right here. We can win this game right here. We can win this game right here, right now, if I wanted to. If I wanted to. If I wanted to, we can win this game. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. And I'm just going to swap to a cinema. I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do it to him. I'm not going to do it to him. Obviously, I could water spell and end this game. Obviously, I can, right? But I'm not going to. We're going to use Toxic Rook up a little bit. Intimidate going to fly in here. Clear your body on one. And we're going to see a Terra type pop out here from Boulder? Yeah, from Boulder. On the grass? Rock. It's hitting hard with Mighty Cleave. Honestly, it might just go after the Kyogre slot with us. So Incineroar might just be dead here. Which is kind of funny. Sucker Punch is going to fly. Tash Grog doing solid damage. That's not a stab move. I like that damage. And Mighty Cleave. Yeah, we're dead. I just, I just sent my Incineroar out here for a death sentence. Actually, he survived. Thank you, Intimidate. Psychic Fang's gonna fly here and Tosh Crook size. So one Pokemon I want to use. We still use him a little bit today. Fake outs, gunk shots, sucker punches. And you know what? We're just gonna end this game. I'm not I'm not I'm not risking it, right? Let's go back to Kyogre. Let's <laughs> just go back into Kyogre. Here, here. Hold, hold this water spout for me. Hold this water spout for me. Just hold it. Just hold it. That's all I ask. Just hold this water spout. You want to KO my Toxicroak? Now your whole team's dead. That's what this thats what this person gets. KOing my Toxicroak like that? Come on, man. Not cool. I probably should terrestrialize it, but uh, it's whatever. It's whatever. We're not even going to use Terra this match. We won't even use Terra. I like how our opponents think it long and hard about how they can win this match. This match's over. It's been over. Stand no chance. I get a crit on my fake out, too. <laughs> that's hilarious. Mighty Cleave going to take out Incineroar. But... It's no big deal. My my boy's just going to win this match. Mighty Cleave does look sick. But my Kyogre in the range is just going to carry us to victory. Hold up. Hold up. Let me cook. Let me cook. One second. I need to cook. We're switching to Origin Pulse, just in case. Just in case. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. I'm not losing this to Paralyze. Thank you, Origin Pulse. All right, <laughs> cool. I was going to say, are we going to lose this match? To RNG. I thought I was going to be paralyzed for like two, three turns. And it was just going to get real ugly. But there it is. I told you guys. We had that match in the bag. In the bag. No, not even sweat. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. That's why I switched to Origin Pulse. Just in case he outsped me. Because I am obviously paralyzed. But from here, we're choosing the Origin Pulse now. And I can just go for a U-turn. That's going to be game. Cool. So we actually swapped and we were toying with our opponent a little bit. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have finished this quicker. But I want to make this video a little bit longer. The last two matches were kind of quick. So, that's fine. But yeah, we're going to go 2-1 for today's video. Probably should have went 3-0, right? We definitely should. It's not probably. We should have went 3-0. If we, if we didn't miss that Origin Pulse into that uh, Calyrex match number one, we win that game all day. But still, I feel like we showcased the power of Toxic Rook pretty well. Dry skin, all that good stuff. We love it. We love it. But our opponent's just thinking. They're thinking, like, how can I win this match? You can't. 0% chance you win this. Kyogre's just gonna land Origin Pulse. Night, night.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen, bouncing back in match number two and match number three, picking up a nice, lovely winning record with this Toxic Rook team. Now, Toxic Rook, a lot of fun. Pairing it up with Kyogre, you can fake out, you can gunk shot, close combat, circle punch. It's got a lot of different options, especially with the dry skin, recovering HP at the end of every single turn in the rain, and not being able to get hit by water moves is just a massive upside for him. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.